And then once I put the tween in, uh, such as if I select the um, the first frames here, and I do a uh, classic tween, um, it does get there, but it does this funky, uh, it just goes all out of order, and then it clicks back into where I need it to be at the end. But it does go where it needs to be, but it's just not there in between, which is, I just have no idea what's going on. So someone help, please. Alrighty, so you asked for help, so, uh, by the way, my name is Ben, I don't know if your name is Jack or Mark, or Mark, or N, or someone else, but let's, uh, jump right in and I'll show you how it works. So, I recreated your problem right here, and basically you have your, uh, one frame where you have supposedly that elbow, and another frame where the elbow is pointed, and you can see that the pointers are both in the same spot. But as soon as I animate it and I create a classic tween, you'll see that it moves out of space, even though that's not what we want it to do. What I'm assuming you're doing and what's probably happening, really easy to solve. If you zoom into this and look into your character when you have your um, free transform tool selected, you'll see that there's this circle here. That, that basically defines what is the anchor point for animations. And if you look at your first frame and your next frame, you'll see that your key point moved. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that both in the beginning and your end, your key points are anchored to the same region, same area. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate, but obviously the more accurate you, it is, um, the more accurate your animation will be. And you can see now that it's not moving. So I hope that helped and I hope that solved your problem.